God bless you. God bless you, beautiful people. Hi. Hi. Ah, hallelujah. Today is Wednesday, March the 22nd. And today is the day that we will be continuing our Bible reading of Proverbs. Yeah, our Bible reading of the book of Proverbs. And we are on, now we are on chapter 5. I appreciate you and I thank you so much for continuing to join us and for following us as we delve into the book of Proverbs. So, uh, Proverbs chapter 5 is, has taken a, a, a twist, a kind of a different twist from, uh, well, it's still dealing with morals and um and uh, righteous living, but uh, this this verse, this chapter is talking about uh, adultery and um, how to basically warning us about adultery. All right, so we're not going to take up uh, any more of your time. Let's go ahead and get started. Thank you, Father God, for today. In the name of Jesus, we just thank you. We thank you. We give you all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. We say hallelujah to your name, Father God. Oh, well, you have been, you've been so good to us, Lord. And we say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your people, Father God, in the way that only you can. Heal the sick, Father God. Comfort the bereaved, comfort the depressed in the name of Jesus. We thank you now. Go before us, Father God, and make our paths straight, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray for every household in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, we're not going to uh, talk much today, uh, but Proverbs, the, uh, the book of Proverbs, let me stop talking so fast, get my word right. The book of Proverbs, chapter 5. Chapter 5. It's going to read, I'm going to read verses 1 through 25. Here we go. My son, pay attention to my wisdom. Listen well to my words of insight. Yes, that you may maintain discretion and your lips may preserve knowledge. For the lips of an adulteress, here we are, drip honey, and her speech is smoother than oil. But in the end, she is as bitter as gall, sharp as a double-edged sword, her feet go down to death. Her steps lead straight to the grave. She gives no thought to the way of life. Her paths are crooked, but she knows it not. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Give me just a second here. Yeah, okay. Let's start over. Uh, verse 5. Her feet go down to death. Her step leads straight to the grave. She gives no thought to the way of life. Her paths are crooked, but she knows it not. Now then, my sons, listen to me. Do not turn aside from what I say. Keep to a path far from her. Do not go near the door of her house, lest you give your best strength to others and your years to one who is cruel. Lest strangers feast on your wealth and your toil enrich another man's house. Come on now, listen, listen. At the end of your life, you will groan when your flesh and body are spent. You will say how I hated discipline. How my heart spurned correction. I would not obey my teachers or listen to my instructions. 
I have come to the brink of utter ruin in the midst of the whole assembly. Drink water from your own cistern, running water from your own well. Should your springs overflow in the streets, your streams of water in the public squares? Let them be yours alone. Never be never to be shared with strangers. May your fountains be blessed, and may you rejoice in the wife of your youth. A loving doe, a graceful deer, may her breast satisfy you always. May you ever be captivated by her love. Why be captivated, my son, by an adulteress? Why embrace the bosom of another man's wife? For a man's ways are in full view of the Lord. And he examines all his paths. The evil deeds of a wicked man ensnare him. The course of his sin holds him fast. He will die for lack of discipline, led astray by his own great folly. The Lord's word is already blessed. The Lord's word is already blessed. Uh, and once again, uh, the book of Proverbs is, is basically... Are uh, like an uh, uh, manual. Uh, I would even go at so far as to say it's like it's like an an, un, uh, an owner's manual, uh, giving us instructions on how to build. Thank you, Holy Spirit, on how to build a good life, a righteous life. How to avoid. Uh, all the temptations and and the evil that is out and about and that surrounds us. We would not. I'm not saying we're not gonna we're not gonna sin and we're not gonna make mistakes. Uh, it's just like the foundation of a house. As hard as the builder, the architect, the construction uh, team, as hard as they work from uh, from from ground zero until the completion of that house. At some point, my God, at some point in the life of this house, there's going to be cracks in that foundation and there's going to be cracks in the uh, in the roof. So over time, over time, things are going to happen. Over time, things are going to happen there to, to try to disable you. But as long as we hold on, as long as we hold on to God's unchanging hand and continue to repent and continue to seek instruction and continue to seek uh, correction. That's a fool. They, uh, can't nobody tell you anything. That's a fool. Don't be a fool. And, and a hard head is going to lead to our, our destruction. Build your hopes on a solid foundation. Build your life, your dream, your goals on a solid foundation. And never, never attempt to do anything or go anywhere or pursue anything without the instructions of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's it, that's all. And let me take this time before I go. Let me take this time to offer to, to you the hand of salvation. If you have not been baptized, if you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I offer you today, I offer you today the key to salvation. Just say, Father God, forgive me of my sins. I repent of my sins. I want to know you. You don't have to use my words, but you get the gist of it. I repent of my sins and I want to invite you into my heart. Come into my life and I, and I, I want to make you my Lord and Savior. I believe that you died on the cross for our sins. And I believe the third day you rose and that you now sit on the right hand of the Father. 
Find you a good Bible-based church. Give your hand, your hand to the preacher and your heart to God. And we say welcome. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Welcome to the kingdom of heaven. God bless you. God keep you with our prayer. And we love you with the love of Christ. Until tomorrow, I will see you then.